Stock Market Bulls and Bears. I am your host, Terry, and welcome to my channel, baby. By the dip, Meta Millionaires. What's going on? I know you all missed me all day, but I was at work. But I'm back here tonight to bring you a hot video. That's right, with the excitement. Now today, Meta had a bang right out of the start, and it kind of came down to just leveled out, traded sideways all day. And you know what? That is fantastic because guess what I did? I picked up some more options. I got a lot of shares, and now I just want to get some options because I have a feeling. I got the gut feeling, man. Your gut's telling you something's going to happen. That big play is going to move, and when you think the play is going to move huge, you make more gains off options. So I'm really feeling that the options are going to be picking up. Uh, first, I want to say... Thank you to the brand new uh, member here in the Patreon group. We got 25 active members now. I want to say thank you, Alfred, for joining. And happy to have you part of the Patreon family. Real quick, uh, I picked up some option plays. I'm going to let you know what I bought. Um, October the 15th, so 10 15, $6 calls is what I picked up. And I also got the play I told you about yesterday. I got January 21st. 2022 $6 calls as well. So those are the two options play that I got. We know September, October is supposed to be pretty big for Meta. Uh, hopefully we get some more news. I'm hoping before October and we get some crazy gains. These options contract can be fantastic. So guys, uh, first link down below in the pinned comments and in the uh, video description, you'll see the Patreon link. Consider joining, we're talking about a play in there that seems to have a good short squeeze potential, has really low float and a pretty heavy short interest on that stock. And if you want to get that play, I don't think anyone out there else is talking about this stock. I'm telling you, it's in the Patreon group. So consider joining a little as a dollar a month to five dollars a month and let's get to talking about Meta. Guys, I want to start out here with, we got George. He came out of the silence. He wasn't active for a while. And we actually got George replying back to someone on Stock Twist. So I want to cover this and bring you this information. So we go here to George's official Stock Twits. And we click on his last thing he actually commented on. Powerful JMG says, have a question that I'm not sure you'll have an answer for. But does Meta have to wait till... December 31st to launch its spinoff in lieu of dividends. Or they can pick a random date and keep the shorts in a burning building over the weekend. And he tagged here, maybe at George would like to weigh in. And George commented back today at 104. We can pick a random day. So there is your answer, guys. It doesn't have to be December 31st. It could be from now till then. So the shorts are kind of like on the fence here they don't know when it's going to happen which is why i got back here i think george is one of the smartest ceos out there guys like we sometimes you know don't understand why they ain't releasing it and ain't releasing it but the stock is kind of organically growing and that's why i got the and george we trust because we're trusting the mastermind behind this short squeeze man he is he's calling it you know we got interviews of him saying that himself about a short squeeze Go back and watch previous videos. We got George on it as well. Maybe over the weekend I'll do a couple recap videos of stuff that was said before because there is a lot of new, I say, meta holics out there, guys. There's a lot of new meta, like family people out there. Let's put it that way. Here we are, guys, on the premium fintel. That's right. I got the premium fintel version. I want to thank all the Patreon viewers. Because everyone in there support and helps me get this program. So I pay for this every uh, three months. I buy the three uh, the quarterly subscription to this. Now, here's something I really like about Meta, guys. The ownership accumulation score. Out of 100, we are 97.78%. We are ranked number 90. We are in the top 100 of ownership of big institutions buying this stock out of over... 20,000 stocks, we are ranked number 90. I love seeing that. Now, we actually had another buyer pop up randomly here, which is kind of cool. Uh, Parametric Portfolio Assets bought 10,941 shares. Um, I did go to the sellers and there was no new sellers. Um, now, like I said, the buyers on that is anywhere from 30, 45 days ago, they bought those 10,000 and some shares. And considering they bought 30, 45 days ago, they're probably really happy of the price that, you know, we're setting at right now. 
We go here to the short interest, what we want to talk about. And you're going to see here the short squeeze score, man. We're getting down low, man. Meta's getting down low because you're going to find out later in this video that the shorts keep doubling down, doubling down, doubling down. You think they let up and no, they just keep pouring in. Short squeeze score, 83.62%. We are ranked number 84 out of 5,528 stocks. We keep going lower and lower on this short squeeze score, guys, and it is amazing. This is an update 11 minutes ago, and at a leading prime brokerage, there is zero shares left to short. When I did my video last night, I think it was 950,000 was left, and I think there was an update after that, and you can see, Someone just scooped all that up. Someone scooped those 900,000 shares out. Now, like I said, whether they're shorting it, borrowing it, black marketing it, whatever they're doing, man, you know, these people do whatever they want, but they're going to get, they're going to get torched to shorts is what's going to happen. Now for them, shorting the stock, they're going to cost them 2.15%. And, hey, we got the updated info for 9.3, but let's go over 9.2 yesterday. Uh, the Fender short total, short volume ratio was 33.68. We had the uh, Fender report 23.5 million shares, and they shorted about 8 million shares. Also on 9.2, the combined total short volume ratio was a 35.42%. They shorted about 28.6 million shares. Get a load of today, guys. I'm talking about they doubled down today. The Fender reported they had over 46.6 million shares traded. Of those 46.6 million, the short volume of that was 24.6 million shares were shorted. We go here to the combined, which gave a Fender short volume, there, Fender short volume ratio of 52.82%. We go here to the combined total volume. 58,330,739 shares were shorted today, guys. Uh, the dollar amount. And... Or I meant the shares and not. Sorry, guys. It's late night here. I'm, I'm banging this out for y'all. I love y'all. Uh, combined short volume ratio of 54.43%. And this is just truly amazing. What I'm saying, the shorts keep doubling down. We're going to scroll down here. I think we have any new updates down below. We're still saying 8.42. I think we're getting higher now, though. Honestly, we got to wait for this to update. I know Ehor. We got to wait for Ehor to give us an update as well. He can get us a more accurate update. Guys, go watch my last couple of videos if you haven't watched them, man. They have some fantastic information about the short squeeze, and we just keep adding to this short squeeze stuff every single day. And if the short squeeze never happens, guess what? We're okay because we love Meta for what the company's going to be doing in the long run as well. So this is a no-brainer. Short squeeze is a, yes, that's cool, but even better yet, we love Meta's future. Now, I went in here and did the spreadsheet for uh, yesterday, 9-2. They did put up 9-3, but I'm going to cover that in tomorrow's video because if you do, if I do this now, they may add more transactions to this, guys. So here's going to be the number of shares for yesterday. Get this out. The total short sale transactions yesterday on 9-2, 408 transactions that was legally recorded, $5,000 or greater. Total shares shorted, 916,011 shares. The total dollar amount of those shares shorted, $4,785,888.64. Wait till we see what happened today, because I really think the shorts were battling. The shorts were battling to drive this price down. I'm gonna pull up the chart here real quick. Uh, so as you can see, this thing pre-market went up to the moon. I mean, this here shows 619. It shows a 614. And I think the shorts butchered this down. That's what I think happened, guys. This was probably, because this is usually what happens in the meta. And the pre-market, it does go up. As soon as the regular market hits, the short attacks it. Because they want to short the stock down. They don't like the price where it's at. And I, I like being at 550. And they couldn't get it down any lower. And I love it because... They just keep piling and piling in, and it's going to be the snowball effect. They're trying everything in their power, guys. The shorts are trying everything in their power to get this back down the fours, get this down the threes, back down, and the twos just like the week or so ago. And we're up to 550. They're not happy. They are going to be paying out the wazoo on these shorts, when they, and this thing keeps organically growing. You know why? 
because as retail, this it has a huge ownership, big tote, institutional buyers, and they're buying and holding too. So you got the institutional plus retail owning the stock. We're not selling out anything. We're holding on to what we got because we love it. And they just keep trading around these other shares that are synthetic shares or you know whatever, naked shorts, all that crap. And sooner or later, they're gonna have to cover and they're gonna have to go out into the market. So us as retailers, guys, we're gonna buy up these shares, we're gonna hang on to them, and the shorts are gonna have to cover eventually. They're just gonna keep paying the fee, paying the fee, and we got all the time in the world. Now, uh, yeah, I talked about, I did get the options contracts out earlier in the video. So guys, that's all I got for you this Friday night. Go enjoy some time with your family and friends. I will have videos out over the weekend. Um, going over more DD, maybe cover a couple articles that are out there. Um, you know, got to take those articles, man. They try to they try to get us out of our shares. We ain't listening to what those articles got to say. Um, go also check me out on Twitter at Terry Z Terry Z two four seven on Twitter and check out the Reddit room MMATR. We'll be there this Sunday at six p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can talk to me, Smokey and Sterling. Ask us all the questions you want. And until then, guys, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.